If I swing around too fast, I will breastfeed someone. Ultra zoom on the website. I've literally zoomed in and I can see like one of the model's chipped toenails. You have to scroll for about a month before you see a black model. There's not a lot of representation and not only regarding color, but size as well. How do people introduce videos? What am I supposed to say? I'm skin, welcome. Guys, please look at this. So I got it delivered to a parcel shop because obviously you don't want people at your door, especially in this climate. And so I went to go pick it up. <laughs> like, well done for you delivery, man. How, how is it, why is it ripped and open? Like, is everything okay at home? Since we have all this time on our hands, what else is there to do but online shop? Like I needed an excuse. I hope everyone has enough supplies. I'm actually enjoying the isolation. Am I weird? Opoly is one of my favorite online vendors. If I'm trying to dress hoochie. Camel toe always if it's a jumpsuit, for me personally. My lips have been out. My lips have definitely been out. I was wearing a bikini and my mum was looking at me like <laughs> I'm not talking about my face. Today's try on haul is Opoly. They are my favourite website to purchase hoochie attire from. Their material is better quality than a lot of other fast fashion websites. However, side effects may include shortness of breath, camel toe and nip slips. I have definitely turned around fast and almost breastfed the person next to me. Um, a lot of side boob and under boob. Uh, it's very tight. Some of the outfits are more for sitting and dinner or the club, but not necessarily a lot of walking. But your pictures will be fire, so in my opinion, it's worth the hassle. But tit tape is a must. And I trust them so much, I leave the parcel that I've ordered unopened until I actually have an event to go to. Do you know how much faith you have to have in a website to do that? Yeah, so I'm gonna try on a few outfits for you. Always shopped online, the physical stores. Oof. I just don't like being bothered. Okay, so on today's episode of Can I Get Some Personal Space, um, my studies uh, continue. Let's get into it. Since you've already opened it for me. Boss man at the shop as well was looking at me like I'm, I was crazy. I'm like, what happened to the parcel? Why is it open? He was like, I don't know. I'm like, but you're the one that, can you sign? I'm like, okay, Mr. Patel. I'll see you next week. Who's on smoke? I only ordered a few items. This is new packaging. Look how squashed the box is. But yeah, that I I like nice presentation and there's always is. It's basic packages, super cute. Let's get into it. I know what you're thinking, does she own an iron? And the answer to that is mind your business. This is such a cute two piece. It's a tanned tailored blazer jacket and shorts and I am here for it. I think it would suit so many different body types and skin tones. I would wear it with tit tape. I'm not because I didn't want to serve areola to my neighbors and give them another reason to think I'm sus, but I am here for it. Definitely think that it looks just as it does on the website. It looks a little bit more expensive there, but that's expected. I really appreciate the fine print on the website. Um, I'm tall, so I like to know the height of the model, they give you all of that. They give you the height of the model, the size that she's wearing. There's websites that don't give that kind of information. I would appreciate a runway though as well. Love a runway. Then you can really see how it fits and how it moves. But if it's so poly, you know, you know you're not gonna be able to breathe in it. So very binding, but suck you in in the right places. Oh, Polly have jumped on the athleisure wear bandwagon and I'm here for it because the materials that they use, this completely works. It's so thick. It holds you in the right places. I'm not gonna lie, I am a bland bitch, so I would have preferred white, black, or gray. 
but those were of course all sold out but I am here for the peach I love a two-piece if you couldn't already tell and I just love everything about it and of course it sucks and tucks you in the right places as Opoly does and camel toe as promised obsessed definitely recommend fits true to size and they show it in natural light and studio light you know how important that is like you need to know the colors of things have you ever ordered something and when it comes you're like but it was red online why is it orange you won't have that with opoly this is one of their basic midis and I don't hate it, but I don't love it. I've noticed a theme on the website of late, which is ruching. And that's not necessarily my fave. I think it can go from zero to tacky real quick. I would wear it. I like the length. I like the fit. Um, but it's not as snug and form fitting as some of the throwback pictures I've posted. So I don't love it, but it's kind of whatever, if that makes sense. But again, reasonably priced, but I think it's a little bit on the tack side. They have an ultra zoom on the website. I've literally zoomed in and I can see like one of the models chipped toenails. You can see the hair on their legs. You can, you can see what they ate for lunch. The zoom is so nice. I appreciate it. You can really see the fabric. One negative critique that I do have about Opoly is that you have to scroll for about a month before you see a black model. There's not a lot of representation and not only regarding color but size as well i think the biggest size that they go up to is a 14 there are 16 in some um but i do find that a little bit strange in this day and age i understand that they are an instagram brand so i guess it's instagram versus real life so it's what's to be expected but i do think that's a little bit unrealistic and if you look at a lot of the models yes they've had work done some of them even kind of look like they're black fishing the tan is very dark and then you click on it you're like oh okay that's a white person so i would say that they need to diversify their portfolio 100 percent a few more black models a few more curvy models and definitely a larger size range size size <laughs> True to form, I'm wearing another two piece. I love black and white. I'm not the biggest fan of labels. I do prefer outfits that don't have any labels showing, but I understand why they've done it, so fair enough. I think it is flattering, and again, would be flattering to many different body types. Um, it's a thong, but one thing I would say is I did have to crop it carefully because my lips are out and it's underwear so it's not terrible but that is quite interesting um i do think that their undergarments could have a little bit more material uh, i took a picture in them again i had to crop it because i didn't want anyone to come for me but love this fit not a lot of coverage it's like being with free mobile and the last look is this top it's cute I think that I needed tighter jeans. Those are boyfriend and I feel like it makes me look extra skinny. I'm like a pack of bones. Don't know why my arms are in the air. I am cringe. Yeah, it's cute. I ain't mad at it. It definitely looks better on the model. Like I said, she's wearing tighter jeans. Um, yeah, it's cool. Easter has come early. I legit look like an egg. You like dark chocolate? I like your boy. In short, I am obsessed with Opoly's clothing. Um, but yeah, the <laughs> lack of representation is quite outrageous. But at the same time, I understand they're going for a specific look. But when you actually analyse it and look at their socials and just... Yeah, it's quite alarming. But definitely higher quality than a lot of other fast fashion websites so even though it seems expensive i think you will be very pleased so if you're going to the club date night 
feeling risque. Oh Polly is a shout.